very recent feature that's been beta tested with Google Classroom and soon to be available for all G Suite for Education users is the ability to assign a rubric to an assignment in Google Classroom. Now I'm going to take a few minutes to show you what this looks like so that you can see what to expect when it's available to your school. Once inside Google Classroom, go to the Classwork stream and click Create, then click Assignment. You first have to add a title to your assignment. And then you do have to add instructions. And then you'll notice that the add rubric feature will appear at the bottom right of your assignment. Now you have two options here. You can click create rubric, or if you have a previously used rubric, you can use that. For the sake of time, I'm going to click Reuse Rubric and show you the different pieces to the rubric process. Here, since I've used this rubric before, I can click the Animal Cell Project Rubric and click Select. Once that's done, I can modify my points to align with my rubric and assign a due date if I choose to do so, as well as a topic for this project. Then I'm ready to click Assign. Now from here, you'll notice that in the project, when I click, I see that the rubric is available for students to read. From the student standpoint, this is what the student will see. Here's the Animal Cell Project. And if I click View Assignment, the student can see that there is a band showing how many points are available. And if they want to read the rubric, they can see the criterion available. I'm going to go back in and edit that on the rubric so that you can see what it looks like in just a minute. But as far as setup is concerned, you can see that you have a criterion and you have a number of points and a level and description for each criterion. Here's appearance and here's creativity in this case. When the student is ready to submit their assignment, they can add or create a document. In this case, I'm going to add a blank document so that you can see how the grading process works for the teacher. Now that I've got my document added, I'm going to click Turn In, and we'll go back and view the teacher side. From the teacher side, if I refresh my page, I can see that for the Animal Cell Project, I have one student that's turned in their work. When I click on the student's submission, I can see their submission in the middle of the page, but at the far right you see that you have a grading option. Here I can take a look at the rubric if I need to review it myself as I'm look at the, looking at the student's project, and then I can assign points as needed. Google keeps a tally of the points that I've awarded to the student right up here, and once I'm ready I can record the score and then return the assignment to the student. From here, the student, if they refresh their classwork page, they can see that the assignment has been graded. And once they view the assignment, they can see by the performance bands where they've scored for each criterion, as well as their total score. So that's just a quick rundown, but let's take one more look at what it looks like to create a rubric. So from the classwork stream, I'm gonna create a new assignment again Remember, you have to add a title as well as a description or instructions. And then you'll have the Add Rubric option available to you. Click Add Rubric, and if that's your first time, click Create Rubric. And you'll can, you can see that you can sort the order of points by descending or ascending. Here, you add your criterion title. You add the number of points, the level, and a description. To add another level, you click the plus sign, 
add your point value, a level name, and a description. When you're ready to add another criterion, you can duplicate this one and edit it, or you can just simply add another criterion at the bottom. Once you have your rubric the way you want, you go to the bottom and click Save, and it will be added to the assignment. So that's a quick rundown on how rubrics work with Google Classroom. I hope you like this feature, and if you have more questions, visit www.techiecoach.com, or you can visit the Google support page for Google Classroom rubrics. Thanks for joining me.